tell you I'm gonna tell you a little bit more about my stretch marks so my stretch marks basically they started because Welcome to <laughs> these introductions are gonna get way too hyped up. Welcome to a new video, you guys. This is Roberto Gallegos. No, I'm just kidding. What's up, you guys? <laughs> Welcome to a new video. Uh, my name is Roberto. This is my third video. Today, what are we gonna do? What are, we're hitting shoulders right now. I just finished editing a video in Spanish and I'm gonna start recording this English video. This is my schedule, like, this is basically my schedule. Right now, I'm recording four videos and editing four videos a week. Two in Spanish and two in English because I want both channels to grow. So, yeah, it's pretty hard. It's, it's like three to four hours of editing. So, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty it's a pretty tight schedule, but I'm trying to hit it, I'm trying to grow here, I'm trying to grow this channel, get better at it. So we're vlogging right now. We're just vlogging, but I want to speak on a specific topic that I see many young bodybuilders or whatever you want to call it, um, self-conscious about and that stretch marks, which I do have a lot of here and here and here and i'm gonna talk a little bit about it throughout the video and mostly at the end of the video since since uh, i'm gonna hit the gym right now and i'm gonna hit some shoulders actually and i'm gonna record that workout right now and you're gonna check out how 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 i work out my shoulders my delts and what i'm gonna have for pre-workout snack i i've been having a lot of pre-workout snacks but i love my little bread with peanut butter and bananas on top of it it's fucking great it's amazing so i'm gonna prepare that shit right now and yeah that's basically it I st i'm starting school tomorrow no it's not tomorrow what the fuck did i just say what the hell I'm, i gotta blur that out too we're starting school next week uh i'm in university so it's gonna be online so um I'm gonna start that six classes. I'm an industrial engineer if you're wondering It's gonna take up a lot of my time from editing and stuff. So that's what what I'm not looking forward to But we're gonna make it work. We're gonna make it work. Yeah, I hope we do but yeah right now Let's go downstairs Dude, I wish I had someone to record the workout because I like someone just moving and getting good angles while, while I work out But I can only do so much. I don't like my family recording me. So yeah, let's go downstairs 12.51, I got like an hour until 2 before I eat more food. But this is the bread I'm talking about. Banana, P PB, and a little bit of Walden Farms maple syrup. This is what I eat before a workout. I love it. Mmm. And since I started doing 75 hard, it's a program by Andy Frisella. I got I gotta eat non-processed foods, so... This peanut butter is like super clean and shit. Like it's PB Fit, it's one that comes in like a powder, and you just mix it with water. It's it's cleaner than the regular pe peanut butter, so I'm just trying to eat really clean foods. And so I'm gonna do my first workout right now. My second workout is gonna be later. So this is gonna be the outdoor one, the outdoor workout, and the the other workout. I think I'm gonna go out and just walk or run or something, but I'm not sure yet. So. Let's just drink this pre-workout and enjoy. I'm gonna tell you a little bit more about my stretch marks. So my stretch marks, basically, they started because I just started lifting and like at my second year of lifting, I started getting these stretch marks from here up to here. I don't know if you can see them right there. Dude, these ones are huge right there. And these ones came in like after the third year, when I really started to grow. And it's basically, cause I'm not even that big, I'm a six foot guy. Like, like I'm not even that big as in muscles. I have a hard time building muscle. So I'm not, it's not like I can grow like really, really big. 
but I think it's mostly genetics and if your parents have a lot of uh, stretch marks too, you're gonna get them too, I guess. Or maybe not, but it all depends on genetics. That's what I would say. But yeah, I just try to not focus on them. Like I just wear them as badges literally because what are you gonna do? You can't take them off. Like if you made them in the gym, you might as well be proud of them because you grew, you changed your body and it's a hard thing to change your body's composition. So I would be proud that you grew these stretch marks if you did them at the gym because not many people can do it not many people even have the guts to walk into a gym so i just see them as bad just literally and mine became white because i got tan but yeah mine are pretty big like really really big so i'm not even like i use tank tops and everything i don't care anymore you know i used to be really really uh, really self-conscious about it and i didn't like people looking at them like, I, I used to not wear these tank tops just because I had them. So, I stopped wearing them, and I started wearing them again. So, yeah. Let's hit the workout, and I'll talk to you guys a little bit more about it. About stretch marks and what I think about them. So, I'm gonna hit these shoulders, and let's go. Oh, I'm done you guys with my second 45 minute workout um, I just need to drink my gallon of water I just need to drink my, my gallon of water and read my 10 pages and I think that's it for today and I gotta stick with diet so I just gotta have some for dinner because I'm gonna need some more carbs throughout the day and some more food since I'm doing two workouts a day I'm, I usually just don't have dinner and I skip on dinner when I do one workout a day but since I'm, since I'm doing two I guess I'm gonna have some light for dinner or some not so light and get to editing this video to get it up to you guys but we're gonna have a little chat about um, these stretch marks right here I have I don't know if you can see them very well let me put on the light Let's see if you can see them you can see them right there they're like everywhere in my body. If you're struggling with this, I like I would love to go through through remedies and stuff with you guys, but I'm just it's not my style. Um like the faster you can get it in through your head, the better off you'll be. Um I've heard girls don't like these. I've heard every single story. I don't I don't give a fuck, I don't care anymore. Um you should be proud of your scars and proud of who you are, proud of what you've become because of these stretch marks wherever you have them, I have them on my back, on my front. You should be proud of them, mostly if you worked for them and you went to the gym hard enough. And you, you know why these, these grow, right? They grow because you grew in such a little amount of time so fast, so you did so much effort to earn these. Why would you want just to take them off? You know, like I know people don't socially accept them as we think they would, but that's cool with me. That's, that should be cool with you. Like, learn to accept your scars and learn to... Learn to love them because there's no other way i mean i wish i could like and there's some things you could do about it like just put some oil around it and stuff but it's it's irrelevant you know like it's not like they're gonna just go away on themselves the best you can do is accept the scars yeah that's all i have to say to you guys for, the, for these stretch marks and scars i've had them like for a long time now i just learned to accept them that's the best thing you can do so you guys Let's go have dinner. I'm gonna go upstairs and show you what, what I'm gonna have for dinner. And that's gonna wrap up the video. So let's go upstairs. This is what I'm having for dinner tonight. It's avocado with meat and some tortilla, some green tortilla. It's like 60 calories, a tortilla with a avocado. I didn't weigh it, so neither did the meat. So I'm just gonna have this for dinner since I'm doing two workouts a day.
And for dinner, I am having this bread that I've been loving lately. It's bread with peanut butter. Um, that peanut butter that comes in, like you have to mix it with water so it becomes peanut butter, actual peanut butter. I'd put that on, then some a little bit of banana, and some Walden Farms on top. So I've been loving this. It's really, really good. It's like 150, 200 calories. So really recommend it if you like like sweet snacks that are healthy. So. Yeah, that's what I have for, I'm having right now, just to satiate my sweet tooth for tonight. And that is it for today. So that is it for this video, you guys. Um, I hope you enjoyed. I hope you, you got something from, from my, a little bit of my explanation and my scars that I have and what I think of them. So comment down below what kind of ideas you would like me to do and what kind of uh, content you'd like to see on the channel, what kind of fitness content. So yeah, um, I guess we'll see you in the next one, you guys. Um, I hope you enjoyed and like and subscribe. See you guys later.